If you want to learn how I did this, then just keep on watching. I'm getting started by covering my eyebrows. I already have one of them done. I'm just using my palette knife and taking some glue from my Elmer's glue stick and putting this in my brows and working it against the grain of the hair. Now I'm going in with a spoolie to change the direction of the hairs to go in, you know, the correct direction. I'm taking more glue and using this to really plaster the hairs down in this direction. Gotta dry down the glue with my little fan. Now that it's dry to the touch, I'm gonna add in my foundation. I'm applying my most full coverage concealer to my eyebrow. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. It's my absolute favorite. I repurchase it every time Sephora is having like their semi-annual sales. It's expensive, but it's worth it. For my eye primer, I'm using P. Louise's Base Pro in shade number two. I'm applying this all over my lid, but I'm also bringing it up to my eyebrow and like applying it up there as well. I'm using Nocturnal from the Blend Bunny Primal Palette. I'm just starting with a little line, um, basically just to use this as like a guide for how I'm going to be applying my eyeshadow. Over top of that, I'm just packing on as much pigment as I can. I'm also going to bring the black eyeshadow up above my crease. I'm basically trying to create like a fake crease and as you can see, it's a little bit above my natural crease. I'm trying to darken up this outer V shape. I decided to use some shades from this Tarte Clay Play palette. I checked and I don't think that this is still like being sold in stores. And honestly, I kind of regret using it. I don't think it's a great formula for blending it out, but I already used it on this eye, so I basically have to use it on the other eye, unfortunately. I'm just patting this shade outside of the black. <sighs> Patch City. I'm also using this light medium contour powder from Melt Cosmetics. I'm like really worried that this eye is going to be like Gucci and this one's going to be Walmart. It's really difficult to blend over a covered eyebrow. I'm trying my best. I'm bringing that light shading out into my hairline. I'm using this white eye primer, which is also from P. Louise. It's a lot easier to use the white to kind of plan out this section rather than just going right in with the black eyeshadow. I'm also applying the white over here on the front part of my lid, and I'm bringing it up to where I want to create that fake crease. And I'm also putting it just in my general inner corner area. Before it has a chance to crease, I'm just setting that with white eyeshadow. I'm using some of the brown shades to blend that white back into the black eyeshadow. I'm mapping out the bottom part of my eye. I'm using another eye base from P. Louise. This one is called a Winter Rose. Using a fluffy brush to blend this downwards. I'm taking some red and I'm going to start packing this along the edge of that pink. This eyeshadow is Huntress from the Blend Bunny Primal Palette. Now I'm using the shade Warning, which is also from the Primal Palette. It's a really bright, maybe even neon pink color, but it's more of like a warm toned peachy pink rather than like a cool toned hot pink. Just like with the other shadows, I'm just packing it on to get maximum pigment. I'm trying to bring it all the way up to the edge of where I have black eyeshadow. I'm using two blushes from Blend Bunny's Juicy Cheeks palette. They're called Raw and Plump. I really want to blend it down into my foundation and kind of make sure my whole cheek area is covered with pink because it's cute. I'm going back in with Warning to really blend those colors together. I'm creating an inner corner point, which is below where my natural inner corner is. Normally my inner corner point would be more horizontal, but I'm going down at a more vertical angle in order to connect it down here. I'm using some more white eye primer just to carve out this little area underneath the fake inner corner. I'm basically smoking out this faux lower lash line. I'm using a q-tip and some micellar water to remove the excess black that's like transferred underneath my eye over here. I'm applying white to my waterline. This retractable white eyeliner is from NYX. I'm really trying to get in there and get the white in between all my lashes. I'm trying to camouflage them as best I can. I'm filling in this area underneath my lash line with white eye primer, quickly setting that with some white eyeshadow. 
I am adding the tiniest bit of shading to like the outer portion of the white as well as the inner portion of the white. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a water activated white liner and I'm applying this right at the very edge of where the eye is. This also kind of helps to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. I'm gonna add these little pink inner corners that eyeballs have using a tiny bit of pink eyeshadow in the very inner corner. Adding a little bit of shading around that pink. I'm adding some really tiny little highlights using the white paint. I'm trying to kind of create the illusion of the eyes going down, so I have to add a little bit more white on this side and kind of bring it down to my nose a bit. See how when I look straight on, you can kind of see the white coming down because it's on the side of my nose over here? I'm setting all of that with a generous amount of white eyeshadow. Very carefully, I'm going over this little inner corner point area. I'm using NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. It's waterproof, which is one of the main reasons why it's like my favorite for the inner corner point, even when I'm doing, you know, just regular makeup. I'm trying to make it kind of cohesive with how my upper lash line curves down in my inner corner area, so I'm kind of trying to follow that downwards. And I'm also adding some black eyeliner along my actual lash line. I'm using a little bit of white eye primer to create like basically a cheekbone over here. See how this kind of emphasizes like the high point of the cheekbone? Over top of where I applied the white, I'm just going to tap on some super pretty sparkly pigment. This highlight is called Pixie and it's from Peaches and Cream Makeup. Pretty even. I'm using Glisten Cosmetics number 7 brush and also I've been using their wet liners as my water activated paint. And I'm just gonna concentrate really hard and try to get this to match the other side. <sighs> Alright, so I kind of tentatively made the lash lines and now I'm gonna go back in and really seal the deal there. It's literally going in a different direction than the other side. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So how I fix this type of mistake is I take a Q-tip and I saturate it with water. And I just dab it on. And then I take the dry side and dab it away. Holy shit, that worked really well. Let's try that again. I could quite literally spend all night wiping off and redoing these lashes, but... I'm using white water activated paint to do the eyebrow and I'm just starting with very light lines. Oh crap, I forgot a step. Er, rewind. Before I do the eyebrow, I'm going in with the Melt Cosmetics contour powder that I used earlier and I'm adding some contour underneath this immense amount of blush. I am also going to contour my jaw. I'm adding extra contour like on this outer part because I'm trying to like slim down the outer part of my face right here so that it gives the illusion that my cheeks are bigger. I'm looking kind of cute right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling myself a little bit in this makeup right now. I don't know why, but I like it. I'm also adding some contour up here to the side of my forehead. All right, back to business. I'm gonna get this eyebrow done. I'm using a small liner brush so that I can kind of do like little hair strokes. It does look pretty much the same as if you just like drew the line. Time check, it is 3.20 a.m. right now. Time check, it is now 4.30 a.m. and um, I curled my hair just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of zhuzh and I had a couple bowls of Reese's Puffs. I ate a couple times since I first applied my base so I kind of like wiped off my foundation around my mouth and I'm just reapplying it. Part of the vision that I had for this look was a really like intense nose contour. I'm not the best with nose contour because I don't have the best nose for nose contour. We're gonna try it. Just gonna have to roll with it. Oh my gosh. I have to like contour along with my nose bump. It's kind of hard. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'd like to do a tutorial on it sometime because I feel like it's hard to contour noses like my nose and I wish that I saw more like contour tutorials. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is a lot. Okay, this is pretty funny. You know what? It's my face. It's not that funny. Now I'm gonna add some concealer in the 
highlighted type areas. I'm like at that point of being tired that I can't tell if it, something looks good or just really bad. I'm going in with the same blush that I was using earlier. I'm applying this all around the tip of my nose. Getting those nostrils nice and pink and just create a little highlight right on the tip. And I think I'm going to bring some of the highlight up the center of my nose right here. When in doubt, go back in with the sponge. I'm also adding that darker pink color to the under area of my nose. I'm bringing that pink down into my cupid's bow just a little bit. I'm also bringing some of the contour shade into that area, like leading into my cupid's bow. And now I'm just going over my lips with concealer. I'm concentrating quite a bit of concealer on my upper lip. I'm going in with some more pink and bringing it down to connect the bottom tip of my nose to the center of my upper lip. I'm going to use some black eyeshadow on a very thin angled brush to really define that line connecting my nose and my lips. And I'm going to make like a little sort of triangle shape. I'm using NYX liquid lipstick in the shade Push Up. I'm basically just outlining my lower lip and for this I'm using a liner brush. I'm also going to apply it to the like inner part of my lower lip. I'm just using a little fluffy smudger brush and some concealer and basically just lightening up the edge of the lips and also the center areas. I am leaving a little bit of a shadow in the center there just because I think it's cute. I know that adding gloss is just going to mess it up, but I really want to add some gloss. I'm using NYX Cosmetics This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk It Pink. Yes, the name is hilarious. I applied this gloss almost all over my bottom lip, but I avoided the inner part of my bottom lip because I wanted to minimize transfer. I think I wanted them to be a little bit more red, so I'm going to go in with some red lip liner. This is ColourPop's Full Speed Lippy Pencil. I really don't know if that's what I wanted to do. I think it was. I'm applying some white concealer to this teeny tiny little makeup sponge. And I'm just going to pat this on the center of this area in between my nose and my mouth. I'm going to try to extend my mouth like a little bit more. I think it looks pretty cute with the little extended mouth. I'm using water activated paint and a Glisten Cosmetics number no. 8 brush, which is a really long and skinny liner brush. And I'm just creating a lot of hair-like strokes to mimic like whiskers. I'm doing different lengths and just kind of making it look random. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the contour powder and kind of add some shading in between some of the whiskers just to kind of make them stand out a little bit better. Since my skin is so pasty white, they're not standing out that much, so I'm just going to add like little shadows. I'm adding in some contact lens. These are from the brand Kazoo and they're called Crimson Red. I have a link in the description to the website where I get pretty much all of my contact lenses from in case you need to get some for yourself. You definitely have to be super careful applying any type of lenses into your eyes. For safety reasons, you are not supposed to apply lenses when you have makeup on. You're supposed to do it before you put on any makeup. Because I can't see through these lenses very well, I always opt to put them in after I've already done the makeup. This definitely comes with risks, so please be careful. <laughs> For lashes, I'm using Eldora B802. I think I'm actually going to stack these to give it a little bit of a more dramatic flare. Instead of bringing it along my natural lash line, I brought it like out this way to match this fake eye that I've, you know, drawn on my face. So I'm going to use these e.l.f. ears. I'm going to paint them a little bit just to match the look. I'm putting some of the pink eye primer in the inner part of the ear. Also just generally covering the visible part of the ear. I'm going to use some eyeshadow to kind of deepen that pink just in the center. I'm using some water activated white liner and applying this to the rim of the ear. I'm just going to tie this around my neck. After I put the ear on, I'm just taking like a bit of hair and bringing it forwards to cover 
my actual ear. Oh my god, I look like a little cosplay girl. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna add some fangs. These fangs have definitely seen better days. Oh my god, it's so cute! Time check, it is almost 8 a.m. I just want to commend my brow cover job because I covered my brows almost 12 hours ago. I, I took a lot of breaks while I was doing this makeup, okay? Um, and they are still holding up strong, so I'm really proud of that. Here's the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already. I'm gonna have so many more Halloween type makeup video tutorials coming. I love you so much. I appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!